literally y'all literally this is the definition of a plop and go brain don't stop got big dreams one big rocks i got plans you got talk that is real cheap but it's really cold house i'm trying to get these ends building buyers with my friends i'm about handling my business no time for stress over bush you think success is an option i'm trying to get this popping like woo. big moves my rules What's up, y'all? What is going on? It's your girl, Carrie M. If you are new to the channel, what's up? Make sure you click on that red subscribe button, hook me up. And if you haven't done so, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. And ladies, help your sister out with the engagement and comment something below. Let me know if you are feeling this unit or if you ain't. It's all good, but talk to me down in the comments for me. Engage with me. Let's get this video popping, okay? So today's sponsor is Beauty Forever here. So we're going to talk about this beautiful unit that I have flipped over right now. First of all, this unit is super duper easy. Definitely beginner friendly, but definitely an ideal unit for anyone who needs their hair done immediately every morning. You don't want to sleep in your wig necessarily, but you don't want to put in too much work before starting your day. This is the type of unit for you. It's completely done for you. The lace is cut. The knots are tinted. The wig is plugged like literally throw the wig on and go now you know I'm a little bit extra but I try not to do too much in this video because I wanted to keep the unit simple because that is the purpose of this unit y'all so I did struggle in that department but I'm gonna take you through the entire process from the unboxing how I prepped it how I styled it and the super easy install along with a little bit of hiccups that I put on myself okay because I just want you to see what the unit could do for you and how I got the unit to look like this which didn't take much work because it came like this your girl didn't wash the unit this is literally the unit style straight out of the box okay so now that you know all of that let's go ahead and get into the unboxing i'm gonna give you the wig details and then i'm gonna go ahead and go through my thoughts on the unit as i style it and save my final thoughts until the end of the video so Use the timestamps if you don't want to see all that, but let's go. I want to talk about the unit as I'm doing this unboxing. So this unit, y'all, is a pre-everything unit. So it's not just pre-cut lace. It's not just pre-bleached knots and it's not just a pre-plugged hairline. It's literally all three of those. So you do not have to customize your unit it's already done for you so i had the kinky straight texture which is my favorite texture this is a 13 by 4 lace so you could part this unit anywhere from 13 inches across and 4 inches front and back and i have this unit in 24 inches y'all the unit is so soft and is so full okay so as you can see the cap construction has a 13 by 4 lace in the front we do have a comb in the nape area along with rubber on the nape area as well to help keep the wig in place with an adjustable strap and we do have that slot to add the elastic band if you want to go that route y'all so as you can see the hairline is looking good it is plucked y'all so totally customized i mean for my ladies who don't know how to customize and for the ones who don't want to lazy wig wearers like me on a lot of occasions this is definitely going to be one that you want to look into y'all this wig is just so absolutely beautiful straight out of the package and of course i will be styling the unit straight out of the package as well i will not be washing a unit as i typically do so i'm gonna go ahead and just straighten out the bottom i want a more clean polished look y'all um i didn't really want to bring the unit too short i wanted to kind of retain um a lot of the length that we had so i didn't bring it up too much you can see what i see how um we have a lot of space and gaps down there if i wanted to really really keep it full to the end i will probably be cutting about three more inches into the unit and i didn't want to do that so i just kind of cleaned it up a bit with still keeping the length on the unit now 
I'm gonna have some fun with the unit because towards the front I did part off that space up there on the crown because I'm going to be adding some layers to the unit I don't want it to be all one length I want to have fun with it I want it to be flirty sexy and cute and I feel like layers does just that especially when you have texture it's just like texture and layers together baby it just makes the unit look extra full so I did take the front into three sections as it's parted down the middle and I just cut it on a slant and then I use my scissors to kind of get that blunt edge up out of there. Um, so I did this in three sections on each side if that makes sense. So it's cut down the middle, parted down the middle I should say and on the left side you got the bottom section, the middle section, and the top section and then I also will repeat all of these steps on the opposite side as well y'all. Now. As I'm working on my very last section, um, I will be bringing the hair forward to the front and not working on it only on the side just to give it a little bit more dimension so if I wanted to kind of do like a hairstyle where I wanted like I don't know two bangs or two pieces of hair hanging out towards the front it will also have some dimension it's not only focusing on the hair laying directly to the side aka a flip over method as well so yes 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 absolutely loved how the layers came out on this unit i'm about to show you in a second and you don't have to do all this because like i said it's an everything unit but again i'm taking it up a notch and i'm gonna hook this unit up but as you can see the layers are absolutely beautiful it does allow the unit to look a lot more full it does give it more character um it's not just one plain length so i absolutely am here for this y'all it's so so beautiful um yeah don't be scared of the scissors if you want layers you're gonna have to do the work okay <laughs> now again straight out of the box i'm gonna wet the unit y'all because i want to run some heat through it and with the kinky straight textures i feel like a blow dryer that's some heat protectant protect this human hair okay girl i feel like you need to put like some type of blow dryer in it because the hair is very large unless you're going for the very large swole up look then skip this step altogether you don't even have to think about doing it but i want to do it because i want it to be a little bit sleeker while still holding texture you can see the difference in size look how a little a lot flatter that is compared to the other side and the movement is a lot different as well anyways i did of course do it to the entire unit and then i decided okay time to add some heat for real so i just used the hot comb to run through the entire unit just to help get some of the kinks out and then i took my time and went a lot slower with the flat iron and i really was doing it just to kind of straighten out the hair and just add a bump towards the end not to really put some real heavy curls in it but just bump it lightly you know a couple of bumps y'all so from this time until the time that i actually decided to install the unit it was probably like um two or three days so the curls will be dropping by the time i do the installation you'll see it in the video but i will add some more later but as you can see we have some straight we have some texture it's looking very very pretty the hair is moving it's absolutely gorgeous y'all i'm so so here for it now I'm going to let y'all know off jump that the lace is a beautiful transparent see-through lace. So, um, as I'm slicking down my hair and I was prepping, I did actually use the cap that was provided from Beauty Forever here. But then I noticed that the lace was so transparent that I needed to switch to a black cap. So, do keep that in mind. You will be able to see your stuff up under it. All right, so boom, shorty fit kind of nice though. But it fits pretty, pretty good. Like literally it's matching to a T on my hairline. I could pull it up more, but then it's like reaching my forehead. Y'all know my, my forehead shape funny. I will have to cut all of that out. The hairline is actually pretty decent. I probably would have plucked it a little more if it was a different type of wig. But again, because it's already done for you, this is going to give you that front two part of whatever you want bleach knots pre-plucked hairline and pre-cut lace which is actually in a jagged pattern so why make my job harder when i don't have to i'm not going to that's my point for my ladies who really do not like to customize wigs and for those of you who don't know how to this is really decent and it is passable and it's really really great to work with because they did the work for you of course obviously i think the only thing that i have to do is tint this lace so 
I ain't never used none of this little peeling stick. I don't even know if it's safe to go on your edges because this hairline is definitely on my edges. Uh, it's not that sticky. I think I'll be all right. I'll just use some alcohol to get it off. Okay, so I do like that. Allow it to sit nice and flat. The only thing is you can't, I couldn't tint that part of the lace under it because the tape was there. But I will be able to add a little color on top though. I'm going to have to do this over because I ain't going to lie. That, um, that elastic band just made it too tight and it's like pressing into my forehead, the, the lace. So it's like a dent and it's not going to be cute. So... Um, the only way I could really take this off is I have to remove this adhesive. Okay. All right. So this is alcohol. Let's see. Came right on up. That was crazy. Right on up. Easy breezy. Okay. All right, so this actually looks good. I like how it's covering my hairline. I know I said that I really wasn't gonna do too much customization because the wig came ready, but this is intruding too much um, forward, and I don't like that. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it in a backwards position just a bit because I need it to not be like on my forehead the way it's sitting on my forehead. I ain't even got that much forehead. I gotta. Make it look as best as I can. Okay, so that looks good. So, um, let me go ahead and start styling this unit. All right, so I'm gonna add some powder to my part using the same palette that I used to tint the parting space with. I love adding creams first because it just makes the parting space pop. And I use a lighter color for my parting space. In my opinion, parting space is, in real life is lighter then your skin your skin gets all the sun <laughs> exposure is tinted it's a little bit darker than your part so I, I like it to look realistic so that's what i'm gonna do i use a light colored powder to go ahead and do that just so the cream doesn't really smudge makeup in the wig i treat it the same way i treat makeup on the face i say it every time because somebody asked me, why did you use um, um, the cream and the powder? This is why. I don't want it to move. I like to set it. Now, that part of space doesn't look that great. But I'm going to clean it up, okay? Don't worry about it. So, I'm going to use this. This spoolie has a crap load of makeup on it from my eyebrows. So, it's a little darker because this is what I use for my brows. And I'm just going to use that to clean up the pieces that were a little bit over bleached. And the pieces that I got too much makeup on. And just kind of brush it into it. Blend it so it's not as like blunt. So I'm just like brushing it in so it can look real. Actually, it's running out of makeup. Let me add a little bit of the pencil directly. And then I'm going to use the spoolie to blend it. So it looks, has more like of a actual parting space effect. Yeah. So that looks good. That looks better. I want to do baby hair. I don't think so. I'm going to do a little something right there on the side. And because this lace is right there, you're going to see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little teeny slither bit out from the wig just so it blends into my hair because it just looks like lace sitting on top of my hair. We don't want that. So I'm going to just take that little small very skinny slither and just blend it into it. Yeah, keep it, keep it simple. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. And honestly, y'all, I'm going to use some of this edge, the slick and slate from Isha, and I'm going to use it to slick back the hair too. Usually I do just do like mousse or something, but y'all know when the mousse start getting soft, the hair starts to do what it wants to do. And I don't want the flyaway look. So I'm just going to use it to kind of do that. Just a little bit, pull back the hairline. I 
genuinely took my time with this wig but i really took more time than i needed to take on this wig like i'm gonna shorten this up for y'all so y'all don't have to see like every little thing i did because it's like pointless um but this probably took me like 20 minutes to get to this point of just like okay let me just lay it down or whatever but i'm telling you it don't even take five minutes to install well, all that i'm doing it probably just takes five minutes but i'm a little extra and i just like to see okay well let me see what it would look like if i had baby hairs let me see what i look like it'll flip to the side i play in a wig uh, for a long time before i decide to okay this is just what i'm gonna do the installation is like complete so i'm gonna do my makeup and come back because i think i'm gonna probably use the flat iron to pop in or enhance like the bob the curls a little bit more because i just feel like it dropped a bit let me go get my makeup done let me let me beat this face real quick beautiful dang the wig did slide back a little bit though i have to move it up i mean i really don't want to disturb it but i have to because i see my edges <sighs> okay that's better it's a little light. I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on it. Not too much, though. Use a leftover foundation that I put on my face. Either it will or it will not work. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Perfection. Yes, yeah, sir. That looks good. Oh, I got to put some more curls in this. Let me, let me, let me, let me hit it up a little bit with a little bit of fly iron action. So I decided to go ahead and pluck very lightly up into the front piece of the hairline where I ended up cutting into the lace because I made it too blunt when I cut into the hairline, but very little bit of hair, as you saw, not too much. And I actually didn't do a lot of plucking, so it didn't make that much of a difference y'all. But this is me just adding some light bumps and curls back into it. And this is later on. I also added a whole lot more barrel like curls with my flat iron so i decided to do two things with it some light little bumps and then some nice heavier curls so i'm going to show you how it looked both ways of course now for the finishing touches on this unit i did have to you know just kind of get the hair to lay flat did i had to get some um flyaway hairs to lay down a little bit I do notice that, you know, when you don't wash human hair units, sometimes you get it out of the pack. I don't know. It could be just me. The flyaway hairs are more unruly. So I had to tame it. But anyways, this is how it looked in the middle part. Yes, it's glueless completely. We didn't spray it down. We didn't hear it, y'all. This is what it looks like. Hairline looks good. It's melted without any type of adhesive, y'all. Now, the flip over method is always going to be beautiful. I love me a good flip over method. And I think adding the layers when I cut up the unit definitely made a difference. And it's beautiful on both sides. This is what the back of the unit looks like. So pretty. I mean, this hair is looking like mine. Mine, girl, mine. So yes, love, 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 love the hair. Um, the middle part is just giving me so much life, especially with these nice little bumps and not doing too much with the curls. This is just so, so, so pretty. But those super duper barrel like curls that I did looks very beautiful too. And the unit actually does hold a very nice curl. Um, so let me go ahead and show that to you really quick. This is what they look like. So gorgeous. So beautiful. You definitely have options with this unit. I mean, this unit is like one of the most beautiful units I've ever tried, legit. And I love that it was easy to install and it was done up for you. Okay, ladies. So the final verdict on this unit, absolutely love it. First of all, I'm a sucker for texture. So the kinky is so me. I love kinky textures. Silky is cool too, y'all. Don't get me wrong, I do it all. But the texture units is just so beautiful because you can get the nice straight look with still having a little crinkles and texture in it. And it's going to give you the most realistic texture if you a black guy, okay? Now, I do love the hairline, especially up on the sides. The sides are popping. 
and keep in mind the middle was a little bit more dense but I also cut into the hairline so it could fit my forehead a little bit so if I would have plugged that area it would have looked better but as far as the it being a unit that you don't have to do anything to and it's supposed, it's supposed to come plucked they did what they were supposed to do especially the size because I'm pulling the hair back and it looks cute now it's also completely glueless okay and I'm not just talking glueless like no glue no glue no gel no spray none of that and the fact that it still looks so melted is just so darn dope to me so darn dope to me dope 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 that looks so good like and I figured that it was gonna be like such a bomb lace because when I put it on I was like wait this looks good so that's why initially I had on the nude cap I switched it to the black I feel like when you have a black cap under it you can see it less under a rarely a very transparent lace so that's why I decided to do the switch but I don't have any complaints with the unit it fits well you can see it's going from ear to ear is fitting very nicely and you can add this to the unit if you choose to you can melt it down if you choose to you have so many options with the unit you're not really stuck in one place with it i did not get any tangling with this unit the unit is so freaking soft and keep in mind i did style it straight from the package i didn't shampoo i didn't conditioner this is the unit straight out of the box y'all i didn't really get any shedding i did cut up in there i did tweeze it just a smidge bit and i also cut the unit so with all of that i'm not really getting any shedding besides the initial combs out after i've done the process for all of those but no shedding no tangling the hair is soft it's beautiful it's natural i love it and I love the layers I cut into it. But this unit is amazing, ladies. So I'm going to say this. If you are looking for a human hair unit that you want to look realistic to match the black girl texture. And you want the lace to look good. You don't want to melt it. You don't want to put too much work into it. Because literally, y'all, literally, this is the definition of a plop and go. Granted, you still have to tint the lace and maybe add some powder to your part. But that's a one-time thing. After that, you're just plopping this wig on and taking it off. Like, literally, this wig is the girl okay the girl we don't have to do anything anything and she looks very good so i'm happy with her she's that girl of course this unit will be linked in the description box if any promo codes are available that will be there as well but again ladies if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up like this video show me some love and comment down below if you think you will try out this unit or if you think it's not for you I don't care what you say. Just comment down below. Let me know what you think about this unit, okay? But I'm going to wrap this video up. And I know, I know, I just came through and didn't even mention. But this was uh my first video that I've done in a very long time. There's a reason for that. But I'm going to say that for another video and tell y'all where I've been, what's been going on. But for now, that's it for today's video and this beautiful bomb unit. I just left it in the flip over. The flip over is just so sexy to me. I love the hair when it's like flips over you know just yeah that girl but that's it i'm gonna wrap this video up and i'll see y'all in another video later ladies bye, bye.